Hello everyone, my name is Nick from TrackMaps. First off, thank you very much for your interest in our products. Through this video, I would like to show you how to create a custom map, whether it be mobile or printed, on our website using the specific tool that's designed for it. Right now, you're looking at the main page of the www.trackmaps.com webpage. If we let our mouse hover over our maps here, as you can see, three options pop up, maps for GPS, printed maps, and mobile maps. For what we want today, we can either select printed or mobile maps. I'll go on printed. There are a few options that pop up here if we scroll down just a little bit. So we can see nautical chart books, individual maps, and finally custom maps. This is what we want right now. Over here, again, if we scroll down just a bit, we'll see the five types of maps that we offer. So there's a general hunting map, there's the moose hunting map. So basically on the moose hunting map, you'll find hotspots that are specifically for moose hunting. Same deal here for deer hunting, and then topographic, and finally marine, if you're looking for depth along a specific body of water. You'll notice a red read more button below each one of the options, especially for the ones that interest you, I would highly recommend clicking on it. This way you will see full details regarding that specific type of map. And you'll also be able to display actual map examples for each. If I go back up, there's a create your map button here, and that'll actually bring us right to the tool that will allow us to create our map as we would like it. As you can see, the page is split into two portions. So on the left hand side, we're going to be selecting all the options that we want for our final product. And on the right hand side, this in no way displays what your final product is going to look like. It's simply an interactive map that will allow you to select the exact area that you would like to display on that final product. So if we turn our eyes here to the left hand side, the first tab is location. We have two options here. We can either search by address or by coordinates. Searching by address is especially useful if you're planning on displaying something that's close to a body of water or perhaps a landmark or even better, a city or a town. Whereas searching by coordinates would be interesting or I should say especially useful if your hunting zone is really completely out in the boonies away from civilization. If you don't have any body of water to reference or anything like that, but you have the geographical coordinates, you'll be able to enter them in here and the interactive map will bring you right to that spot. So for our example, we'll search by address. Um, let's think of a body of water. Let's go Lake of the Woods. So we want the one in Ontario. So right here on the right hand side of the page, the interactive map zoomed in on Lake of the Woods. Once that's the case, we're ready to move on to the next tab. It doesn't have to be exactly centered on the location that we want. You'll see very shortly we'll be able to adjust. So I'll click on type. This is where we can select the type of map that we would like. So there is no moose or deer data available for this specific area, but we'll be able to select either topographic, hunting or marine. So let's say I go topographic. You'll be able to see some examples here as well, which is interesting, similar to that see more tab that I was referencing earlier. So Next off on this tab, we have title. If you'd like, you can enter in a title. This is not, uh, you're not obliged to, but you certainly can. This will also display in very small characters on the corner of the map, so you'll be able to reference it. Once that's done, we can move on to the next tab. As you can see here, we have three possible scales. If I select one over 10,000, you'll see that it displays a very small area. So one over 10,000 is very interesting because it allows you to display the maximum detail on your product. But the limitation is that at this scale, you're not able to display a very large area. So if we wanted to display a larger area, we can modify either the scale or the dimensions of the map. 
As you can see, there are three possible dimensions. Each corresponding price is displayed here at the bottom. If we choose 20 by 28 inches, you'll see on the right hand side, it's going to bring up the amount of, you know, the, the area that we're displaying on the product. You can also grab, use the grab function here using your, using your mouse to really specify exactly the area that you want. As you can imagine, this square here represents the exact area that's going to be displayed on your final product. So just to recap, the scale will affect the, the, the area that you're displaying as well as the size that you are choosing. Moving on, we have the delivery method here. There are two possible options. There's printed and mobile. If you'd like, you're able to even select both of them and you'll actually receive a 50% discount on the second map. So if I select them here, so you can see it's $44.99 instead of $59.99 for the two of them. Normally it would be $30 for each one. You're saving 50% if you select both of them on the second format. Finally, the orientation here, you can choose whatever works better for you between the portrait and the landscape mode. Once we've adjusted the map to our liking, we're displaying the exact area that we would like to see on our final product. We can finally click on the fourth tab here, finalize. You have a final overview of the options that you've selected. So here, map type, title, etc. And once you're ready, make sure to click, I accept the terms and map choice. Please read the terms over here. And I'll select add to cart and we are able to complete our order from here. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. From our website, from any page, you'll notice on the bottom right-hand side, there is a little circle, a little red circle, that will allow you to start a live chat session. Once you enter in your email address, type up your message and click send in the bottom right, will always very quickly respond to your messages, especially during business hours. And outside of business hours, we have your email. You've, you've entered it into the live chat option. So we'll, we'll respond to you as soon as possible. And you'll receive our answer automatically by email. There's nothing further that you'll need to do. If you prefer, you can also reach out to us directly by email. This is at info, I-N-F-O, at trackmaps, T-R-A-K-M-A-P-S, Dot com. We're also very quick at answering emails. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful day.